This small town called Privonoi in the south of Russia, some 1,200 kilometers from Moscow, is not known to many. But its school once taught one of the country's most renowned figures, Mikhail Gorbachev, the last Soviet leader who passed away on Tuesday at the age of 91. After some time in the ninth grade at school, he was awarded an order for participating in the harvest. He was a perky, smart, well-read and active guy. He played an active role in our school. He took part in artistic performances and he was also the secretary of the all-union Leninist Young Communist League organization. Gorbachev eventually left Privonoi, which is home to around 3,000 souls, to study in Moscow. But he later returned and became the region's Communist Party committee chairman. And over the years, he didn't forget the town. The head of the Privilnoi Territorial Administration says he helped the village a lot when asked. The head of the village before me also addressed him, and before that too. We built a church and had problem with the domes. He helped. Gorbachev came from humble beginnings. His parents were farm laborers who worked in the Privilnoi's wheat fields. His mother and father were both buried in the town. The modest home where Gorbachev spent his childhood no longer exists, but his parents' last home is still standing in the small town. There have been lobbies for it to be made into a museum to honour the late leader, but they have been to no avail.